According to the Minister of Gender, Lebanon Social Development, Frank Tumwebaze, East African community member countries are in the process of revising their laws to facilitate portability of social security benefits to include migrant workers. We are going to revise our laws on social security to facilitate portability of social security benefits to include migrant workers. If I am in Uganda, I am saving with NSSF, I migrate to work in Kenya. The social security funds of those countries should be able to speak to one another and I should have my benefits transferred. I shouldn't lose them. However, according to Prima Kwagala, a human rights legal professional, there are some things government must put in place for these policies to work. The government is signing several agreements, but has, it has not paid attention to the safety nets that Ugandans need when they're in those countries. Mm. Our embassies are underfunded. The emissaries the government sends there as ambassadors do not have support staff. The infrastructure to actually manage your stay when you're in that country doesn't exist at the time. Under the new resolutions, member states should promote and support the role of diaspora in assisting migrant workers and protecting their rights in vulnerable situations. There is an, an international criteria that all, all private recruitment agencies should aspire to be satisfied for them to be professional. So that you are distinguished from being a suspected facilitator of human trafficking to being a professional recruitment firm. The government has, for the zenith time or years, informed us that they have a system which can locate people wherever they've gone. And I have asked for access to that system for the past two, three years. And honestly, I have not got access to it. When it comes to human beings, there's no particular agency. There's just a commissioner for labor. One person tracking hundreds of thousands of people leaving the country every other day. If you look at Dubai Air, even today as we speak, many of them are there dressed anxiously waiting to leave. International Organization of Migration Uganda Program Coordinator Erika Debona further reaffirmed that UN agencies need to work with both the government and labor export companies to streamline the sector. In view of applying the principles stated in these documents and pursue the objectives, it is crucial for countries in the region to come together to discuss and agree on common challenges uh, opportunities but also to exchange experience and expertise uh, and lesson learned or, and agree on joint approaches that can help to overcome uh, national challenges. The Auditor General's report for 2018 faulted government for not doing enough to inspect and monitor labor export farms. Andrew Chamagero, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs>